वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टैकल प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन एज लेट अस रीड द सम फर्स्ट एज ऑफ ग्रैंड मदर इज स्क्वायर ऑफ अ ग्रैंड डॉटर्स एज फुल स्टॉप सो दिस गिव्स एन आईडिया ऑफ द प्रेजेंट एज सो हियर ग्रैंड डॉटर विल टेक एस एक्स विथ होम वी कंपेयर दैट वी विल टेक एक्स एंड इफ यू रीड अगेन grandmother is square the age of her granddaughter so this will be x square now if you have seen i have made a framework 4 years ago so when you go from present 4 years ago we have to subtract 4 from their present age so before reading further let us make the framework of their 4 their age is 4 years ago so it will be x square minus 4 and x minus 4 so here for the whole sum the framework is ready and now let us read further 4 years ago the condition which is given over here the condition given is for 4 years ago so for a uh, 4 years ago we are going to use these ages so what is the condition the condition given is the condition given is is she she means grandmother so x square minus 4 is 15 times the child age child is a girl okay so here let us solve this sum so x square minus 4 is equal to 15x minus 60 correct so let us uh, put the quadratic equation in the proper format x square minus 15x minus 4 Plus 60 is equal to zero, so that comes to x square minus 15x plus 56 is equal to zero. Correct, students. Now let us uh, split the middle term and get the factors of 56. Right now, for the present situation, factors for 56 we can select as 8 and 7. So x square minus 15. Sorry. 7x minus 8x plus 56 is equal to zero. So that comes to when you get the factors of this, you get x x minus 7 minus 8 x minus 7 is equal to zero. So when you solve this, you get the two factors x minus 8 is equal to zero. So value for x will be Eight years. And yet the other factor is x minus seven is equal to zero, so x is equal to seven years. Now the problem arises: which age to select? Yes, since both the ages are positive, and x is their present age, so if I take x as seven, if x is seven, grandmother will be forty-nine years. Correct. Grandmother will be forty-nine years, and the girl will be seven years. But if I select it age as eight years according to the condition, then in that case, grandmother will be sixty-four years. Fine. Did you understand this sum? So it was very simple. You need to understand how to make the table. Let us tackle one more sum. Okay. First, we'll read the sum, and then I'll teach you one technique how to go about. So let us start. Five years ago, a woman's age was square of son's age. Fine. So we are talking about five years ago. Four years hence, her age will be thrice that of her son's age. Fine. So we are talking about five years ago and four years hence. So before we start with the condition, let us make the framework. Now the Guru Mantra is when it is saying five years ago. Let us start from there only. Five years ago, woman's age was square of her son's age. So let us take son as x. So woman will become x square. Now uh, one thing note that this is the age of woman and son five years ago. Now, from five years ago, we are going to enter into present age, so it will be plus five. So x square plus five 
n x plus y. I hope you understood this part. And from present, we are going to enter into 4 years hence. That will be x square plus 5 plus 4 that becomes 9. And x plus 5 plus 4 becomes 9. So our framework is ready. With the first statement, we were able to frame the age of son and woman 5 years ago. Their present age and their 4 years hence age. Now, if you read further, the condition is given for 4 years hence. Meaning, we are going to use these ages. So, 4 years hence, her. Her means woman. So, woman's age will be thrice the age of the son. I hope you understood. So, this condition is for 4 years hence. I hope you understood. So, now we are ready with the quadratic equation now. We will get ready. We are not ready. We will make the quadratic equation ready. So, it is 3x plus 27. Let me make it complete. So, x square minus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. I hope you understood till here. Now, as you know, we will search the factors of 18 which will fulfill this equation. Right now, for the present situation, the factors of 18 which can be used over here is 3 and 6. So it will be x square minus 6x plus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. So x x minus 6 plus 3 x minus 6 is equal to 0. So when you solve this further, I am not going down, I am just dividing the sum into two parts. So I am solving here only. So x minus 6 is equal to 0 is one of the factor and x plus 3 is equal to 0 is another factor where x is 6 and x is minus 3. Okay, yes, but the age cannot be negative so we need to discard this. So right now if you note carefully what is x from the framework? x is son's age 5 uh, years ago. So uh, answer here is x son's age. So the first question says was the age of son 5 years ago. That is how much? That is 6 years. So we got our first answer. Correct? Now what is the second question asking? The second question is asking the present age of woman. Fine. So, the present age of the woman is this. Correct students? So, we need to solve it. So, present age present age of woman. What is present age of woman? Is x square plus 5 that comes to 6 square plus 5 that is 36 plus 5 is equal to 41 years. So, we got woman's age as 41 years the present age. I hope you understood this sum students. Now, you need to practice the sums from the exercise but I will recommend you all before starting any exercise go through all the solved examples because solved examples will put you on the track. I hope you understood the framework and it will make the understand understanding of other sums easy. Thank you students.